The Milan Motor Show and other similar automotive events always bring together the best manufacturers of two-wheeled transport from all over the world. It's hard not to notice that year after year, the number of battery electric motorcycles at exhibition stands all over the world is only growing. So today, we decided to dedicate a video to the newcomers from early 2024. Let's get started. Livewire S2 Mulholland Several years ago, Harley-Davidson unveiled the Arrow, a multi-purpose electric motorcycle platform under its Livewire brand. The platform is reportedly suitable for producing battery electric motorcycles of different classes. In 2022, we first witnessed the real-world application of the Arrow platform in the S2 Del Mar motorcycle and received a promise that bikes of other classes would soon follow suit. Luckily, this time has come. And for the upcoming 2025 model year, Livewire is bringing a brand new performance cruiser, the S2 Mulholland. The model received a fresh design with a laid-back cruiser geometry, a 6-inch handlebar riser, a 19-inch wheel in the front, and a 17-inch one in the back. Encased within the Arrow platform is a 10.5 kilowatt-hour battery and a 62.6 kilowatt e-motor, capable of generating 194 pound-feet of torque and letting you sprint from 0 to 60 mph in a mere 3.3 seconds. According to official manufacturer estimations, every full charge would let you travel up to 120 miles in the urban cycle or up to 70 miles with an average speed of 55 miles per hour. Luckily, the new S2 Mulholland supports L2 quick charging that would restore 80% of the battery charge in about 80 minutes. However, you'd have to spend up to 6 hours at the standard L1 charger. Besides producing a bank with a zero-emission powertrain, Harley-Davidson placed a great emphasis on using the latest eco-friendly solutions, namely hemp biocomposite materials, recyclable silicon, and other petroleum-free materials. Raison Motorcycles Bohemia Raison Motorcycles is a brand new European e-bike manufacturer that was started by people who had previously worked on supplying battery-powered motorbikes from Asian markets. No longer relying on overseas partners, this manufacturer from the Czech Republic is planning to bring a long-range, full-size electric motorcycle with a competitive price in the upcoming months. With one of the biggest battery packs in its class, Raison Bohemia can cover up to 160 miles on a charge, while being able to reach speeds up to 86 miles per hour. Besides being able to sustain highway speeds, the 11 kilowatt motor with 20 kilowatt peak capabilities will need just 6 seconds to reach 60 mph from a standstill. Once the 15.3 kilowatt battery is depleted, you would need only 150 minutes to get back on the road owing to the support of high-speed 6.6 kilowatt CCS technology. A good set of motorcycling parts makes Bohemia a desirable option for people looking for a sustainable means of urban transportation and a proper alternative to the 125cc class. You're getting dual four-piston Nissan brakes in the front and two piston brakes in the rear, 17-inch wheels with Michelin tires, a 5-inch main display, a secondary 4.3-inch display, and ABS as a standard feature. Tarform Vera This year, Tarform Motorcycles are expanding their model range with a new model, the Brooklyn-based electric motorcycle manufacturer that became famous with its futuristic scrambler and cafe racer motorcycles, unveiled a lighter and more compact two-wheeler called the Vera. The newcomer retains the familiar futuristic design cues from the brand's Luna motorcycles, but received a more streamlined silhouette, 31-inch seat height, and a 56-inch wheelbase. The newcomer tips the scales at 360 pounds and puts to use a 35-55 kilowatt air-cooled e-motor to provide you with 85 mph top speed capabilities. Owing to the direct belt drive powertrain that generates 120 pound-feet of peak torque, the Vera e-motorcycle takes just 3.5 seconds to sprint from a standstill to 60 miles per hour. The frame-mounted 8 kilowatt hour lithium-ion battery unit would keep the good times going for up to 100 miles and, once depleted, could be replenished with the help of an L2 charger. 
When using the L2 charger, the bike would need about 2 hours to restore the 100% charge. The list of already announced bike features and standard gear includes keyless ignition, regenerative braking for restoring the range on the go, powerful Brembo brakes, 4G connectivity for over-the-air updates, and a 3.4-inch Retina display that showcases the most important riding data. Verge Motorcycles TS Ultra The flagship performer of the Verge motorcycle lineup promises riders more power, torque, and speed. The model keeps the usual rear rim-integrated motor, but boosts it to 204 horsepower and 885 pound-feet of torque. These numbers translate into 2.5 seconds 0 to 60 and a crazy top speed of 124 miles per hour. The Ultra gets a full-body battery pack with 20 kilowatt-hour capacity, 233 miles of riding, and fast charging that takes a mere 25 minutes. Plus, standard tech features on the Verge TS Ultra include ABS, traction control, and a pair of digital displays, one between the handlebars and one on the tank. The latter is equipped with StarMatter Vision Tech that promises 360-degree sensing, courtesy of six cameras aided by two radars. How do you like this lineup so far? Which of these upcoming models would you like to try out? Share your thoughts below, and we keep going. If you're a regular viewer of our EV News Roundups, then you should be familiar with the Italian Volt company. They've been developing boutique motorcycles with battery electric powertrains since 2016. However, a series of unfortunate events delayed this process for many years. Luckily, after a change of ownership, Italian Volt is back on track and finally ready to start the production of the much-awaited La Cama motorcycle in Italy. The bike is offered in two variations the one-seater Cafe Racer or the two-seater Street Fighter. Both variations are based on a single-piece aluminum frame that connects together with the aluminum swing arm, a multi-adjustable Olin's monoshock absorber, and a 43mm Olin's fork. The bikes are rolling on 17-inch rims with Brembo disc brakes and Pirelli Diablo Rosso 3 tires. The bike's electrified heart is represented by a PMSM axial flow motor with 111 kilowatts of peak output and 570 pound-feet of wheel torque. The powertrain is built on a 400-volt architecture that brings the CCS2 fast charging capabilities. The power output is sent to the rear wheel via a carbon belt, thus letting the 434-pound machine sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds and continue onwards to the limited top speed of 142 miles per hour. The range estimations are said to be close to 160 miles in the urban riding cycle. The list of other noteworthy components and features includes a full-color 5-inch TFT display, a smartphone control app, lean-sensitive ABS and traction control system, keyless entry with an electric steering lock, and a bike customization service that lets you choose between 22 paint colors and seat trims. MotoWatt W1X Since many established motorcycle manufacturers are still skeptical about the electric future, it seems that young, innovation-driven startups are taking the matter of satisfying the demands of EV-hungry riders into their own hands. A duo of e-bike enthusiasts has done just that and unveiled their first motorcycle for the urban commuting crowd. Called the MotoWatt W1X, this 125cc equivalent strives to make daily riding as safe and efficient as possible. To achieve these objectives, the bike's creators use two electric hub motors to ensure better grip and riding stability in all possible road scenarios. For the smoothest riding experience and maintenance, the bike was equipped with single-sided swing arms and off-center shock absorbers. While the technical information is scarce, we do know that you can count on 25 kilowatts of peak output and a battery with up to 81 miles of range autonomy. To ensure daily usage convenience, this model can be equipped with a removable tank box that has enough room for a helmet. At the moment, the W1X is available for pre-order and the company plans to fulfill their deliveries in early 2025.
The new RM1S brings a significant performance boost, highway speed capabilities, and a bunch of technical upgrades, including a redesigned motor setup, improved suspension, brakes, seat ergonomics, and a reworked storage compartment that holds a more capable battery pack and 10 liters of space for your cargo. The new model relies on a 7-kilowatt electric hub motor with 10.5-kilowatt peak capabilities. The motor is now matched to a battery setup that offers a 30% increase in capacity compared to its predecessor. The setup consists of two battery packs with 2.7 kilowatt hours of capacity, thus ensuring the 65 mile per hour top speed and up to 80 miles of continuous riding. The battery pack also received an improved heat dissipation structure and the support of both onboard and external charging. The full 0 to 100 charge cycle is said to be about 4 hours. This highway capable electric bike is currently available for pre order with delivery scheduled to take place in April of 2024. Those who pre order will receive a three year GPS and security subscription, would be able to choose one of four new tank colors, and upgrade to carbon fiber mudguards. Kawasaki Z7 Hybrid The Z7 Naked arrived alongside the Ninja 7 as the world's first mass-produced hybrid motorcycles. Its innovative powertrain technology combines a 451cc internal combustion parallel twin from the Eliminator with a liquid-cooled permanent magnet synchronous electric traction motor capable of independent or synergistic operation. With an activated e-boost at peak RPM, the mill claims an output of 68.5 horsepower and 44.6 pound-feet of torque, enabling short acceleration bursts that outpace 1-liter superbikes like the ZX-10R. The Z7 Hybrid boasts a range of 7 miles in all-electric mode and over 200 miles on the highway. The semi-electric Kawa weighs around 500 pounds and utilizes a steel trellis frame inspired by the Z400. The battery is strategically positioned beneath the seat to mitigate disruptions to the center of mass and the bike is tamed with a six-speed automatic manual transmission. Two-piston brake calipers on 300mm and 250mm discs front and rear, reinforced suspension springs, all-LED lighting, and an informative 4.3-inch TFT dashboard. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers, if you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time!